who are the three who are three of your favorite clients, people you just adore working with over the years? Hmm. I have five godchildren. Um, and it's almost like asking which one is uh, my favorite or my favorite three. However, uh, Yoko Ono is my best friend. I met her in 1971. That's half a lifetime ago for me. I've represented the John Lennon estate since 1980. During the course of our conversation, you will hear me talk a lot about John and Yoko, and I know that, I, that there's a long history of my association with them, and I think most people who pay any attention at all to me know about that. Um, John and Yoko did not believe in keeping any secrets. They believed in making everything public. They believed in manifesting all of their beliefs front and center. They wanted to touch and influence people. so. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I've spoken about them at endless lengths on television. I wrote uh, a, a published piece about them for a book uh, for Harper and Collins, which was unusual for me. And I've done a few documentaries having to do with the John and Yoko experience. If I had to pick a favorite client for a myriad of reasons, it would be Yoko. The second one that comes to my mind of course, in no particular order, would be Don Johnson, who I met, I think, around more than 40 years ago. 40 years ago? Yes. I met him at MGM. Um, I got my first job as a junior publicist at MGM Studios. Uh, it was in the wake of Easy Rider and the um, coming of the youth movies. Don had just completed his first motion picture. It was called The Magic Garden of Stanley Sweetheart, and we hit it off instantly. Uh, he's been my brother ever since then. Don is an incredibly talented actor with an amazing body of work. He's done, um, give or take, 40, uh, 40 feature films and uh, TV miniseries, uh, but most people will always remember him for playing Sonny Crockett in Miami Vice. The show and Don revolutionized television and much of the culture. Keep in mind that before Vice, all cops either looked and sounded like Jack Webb from Dragnet, with the possible exception of Peter Falk and Columbo. Miami Vice changed the landscape. It was the first one to marry television drama with contemporary music. It looked like no other series that preceded it, and Don redefined the landscape. Uh, he played an undercover cop, so he wanted to look like he just rolled out of bed to pursue some illicit Floridian escapade and his look would change the way men dressed. A pastel-colored t-shirt under a white Versace suit. He took his socks off and went a few days without a shave. He epitomized the new cool. I remember Interview Magazine once described him as a, a, a bad boy who made women feel safe. He was on the cover of Time and Newsweek at the same time, and just about every other magazine as well. Uh, if memory serves, Don did 111 episodes of Miami Vice, then did another 122 episodes of a series called Nash Bridges. That's like turning out 233 mini-movies on a weekly basis. And in between, he made time for dozens of... Uh, feature films, a number one album, touring the world, raising a family, raising a little hell in the process. I love Don and learned a lot from him. Our professional association has been meaningful and productive, but the essence of the relationship always went to the heart of the man. His attention to detail 
the hands-on raising of his children, his entrepreneurial character, and his great participation in charity work earned him my respect forever. I am the godfather to one of his sons. His family uh, became my extended family. We traveled the world together. He is a very um, introspective, zen-like being in his thinking and passionate about his family. Don would be one of my three favorite clients. And then, of course, there is Bob. It's not just a question of being a favorite. It's being a privilege, an honor. I would have done it without cashing the checks. Uh, there's no greater living artist in the world today than Bob Dylan. There has never been a singer-songwriter in my lifetime who's had a greater impact upon me and countless millions than Bob. Uh, working with him has been uh, an extraordinary joy. And then come all the others. But that's well said, and I think that uh, there are going to be a lot of people viewing this who are going to love hearing that about Bob Dylan because of exactly what you said, the impact that he has had on their lives uh, as an artist. And it's just nice to hear that uh, he's affected you that way, and it's a reflection on you know, the, the friendship. Yeah, and, and in the case of somebody like Bob, who I do not talk about, anybody who begins any sentence with the phrase, well, Bob told me, is no friend of Bob's. You know, he's a person who has no reason to speak in a public arena or grant endless interviews uh, because he's given it to you on 50 albums over the span of 50 years. Uh, at the end of the day, believe it or not, it has little to do with the lyrics and little to do with the writing. He's been quoted as saying, if it was just about the lyrics and just about the songs, well, then anybody could record my songs and have a big hit with them. It's not the case. With Bob, it's about the performance. I see. And you don't, I mean, if you've just listened to him on record or seen videos of him, uh, it's not the same as being in a, a hall, an auditorium, uh, with uh, hundreds or thousands of others uh, experiencing what comes through you. He has the unique ability, historically, to tap into our collective consciousness, to take our dreams, fears, visions, loves, confusions, issues, trips distill them, magically mix them with music, and present them back to you in a way that makes you feel that you're not alone. He's the best singer, songwriter, uh, performance artist that I have ever known. And I was touched by him long before I met him and long before I represented him. So he's in a, a separate category. Uh, for those of you who have never seen Bob Dylan perform live, um, don't miss that opportunity. I mean, that, that's something that will not come this way again. He might be the last link on the chain. So if I can make any suggestion uh, when he's next in your town, uh, go see him. He's the best.